25 years ago, Monica Potter scored a breakout role in the classic action film Con Air, more like Con Hair, <laughs> Nicholas's beautiful rug. Uh, she played his wife, Trisha. The movie cemented itself in cinematic history for its unintentional humour and action sequences. You know, for a second there, you were that guy again. I know. Well, I was hoping maybe the army would make that guy grow up. Nicolas Cage plays the ultimate anti-hero Cameron Poe, a former US Ranger forced to serve 10 years in prison after a drunken brawl in defence of his wife, Trisha. Who's OK? That is Cameron Poe, a parolee hitching a ride home. He's a nobody. The classic action film had a star-studded lineup: John Cusack, John Malkovich and Steve Buscemi. Define irony. A bunch of idiots dancing on a plane to a song made famous by a band that died in a plane crash. A box office smash hit, it took $224 million worldwide and even scored two Oscar noms for best sound and original song for How Do I Live. Yes. So good. So much to love about Con Air. And here to celebrate the milestone is Monica Potter from Los Angeles. Good morning to you, Hi, Monica. Monica. And thank Good you so morning. much. Thank, thank you, you for, for marking having this me. With I us. just thought I was really kissing him. Huh? You really were. Well, you guys had some chemistry. Tell there, us Monica. about that scene. Let's go straight we there. Did, okay. Well, <laughs> all righty. Um, I didn't know him beforehand, and um, I walked onto set, and he said, Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm like, Yeah. I know. Um, I was so nervous, but he put me at ease right away. And then we started kissing, and I'm like, wow, he's a really good kisser. <laughs> then I felt guilty because I was married, and then, but I didn't care then after that. <laughs> I was like, wow. That's called method acting, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't go to class for acting. It was just like, wow. And I kept, you saw that. I kept going, come here, come here. A bit but, more. Um, yeah, and he was, he's kisser. so fun. Yeah, is that okay that I said that? It's yeah. No, oh, yeah. it's perfect. That's what we want to hear. It's I mean, this better film... than saying it bad breath, I it, guess. He's... Exactly. Well, this film is so great. It's such a great cult classic. It's peak yeah. 90s. Um, how do you think, you know, for you, getting the landing this role of Trisha in this movie, how did that set the course for your career? Um, Gosh, I think it set the course... I. Being able to work with that group of actors and Jerry Bruckheimer and the writers and Nick and um, it was just like it felt um, surreal mm -hmm. and it felt like you were in the movie all the time and you knew there was a little bit of camp to it but it wasn't camp but it was mm -hmm. also like this is going to be a nice movie and I felt every everything we were doing in the scene and the little girl um well. Casey Poe, um, she uh, she's now grown up, and I just saw her at a dinner, and she came up to me and said hi, and I I looked in her eyes, and I gave her a big hug, and I said Landry, she's beautiful, and she's a great actress now, and um, it just it brings back really good memories. You speak about the sort of semi campness to it, and we mentioned earlier the unintentional humour, in particular that moment right. when Nicolas Cage steps off the plane and the wind. In his head. And that's my favorite part. It's so like, good. It's, wow. it's maybe the most, you know, used meme, I think, in the world. Yeah, it is, is one of them, yeah. Really? Yeah, it is I, everywhere. Is, I just saw that and I'm like, that is fabulous. It's like Fabio on the roller coaster without the bird. <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of, right? But, it is. And I remember I was filming a movie with Robert Town and Billy Crudup, Without Limits, and I said, Hey, um, there's a movie coming up that I'm going to do called Con Air. And Robert Town said, Is that about like a blow dryer? <laughs> and I said, I think it's about a curling iron. And you know what? I think Nick used quite a few curl irons. But um, now I'm thinking that wasn't real hair, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not, but, but you know, great. The, the, that song, we keep hearing the song playing over and over again How Do I Live? It's such an yeah. iconic moment in that movie. Let's have a look. Don't 
Don't Cry, Nick, I'll oh. Cry. The thing is, like, when a song is that iconic, it was Oscar nominated, that song, it's kind of associated mm -hmm. with you now. How does that feel, Monica? Um, I feel very lucky. I, I just, sorry, got teared up looking at her when she was small in light of everything. Um, oh. It's a hard day. It's a hard day for you guys in America, and we appreciate you being here. It's a hard day for everybody, for humanity. And um, mm. they are our most precious gift. Mm. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, um, sorry. It's um, palpable. It's palpable across America this morning. It's palpable yeah. across the world right now. You know, our hearts are with yeah. you. And I hope you feel that there. I'm, yeah, I was, I was okay. And then um, you're just not mm. sometimes. It's, it's so it's you can't grasp this this what's going on worldwide right now and I do believe though the good will prevail obviously and we're gonna ascend above this all of us and collectively as human beings come together and mm. overcome Monica thank you for being honest with us and being Sorry, vulnerable guys. with us we do appreciate it you have a lot of fans here not just about this movie but everything all of your other work too but to show your human side as well and show an insight to how this affects everybody mm. that's going on over there is so um, it's, it's so real so we do appreciate it and we we do appreciate I really your time. appreciate you God mm. bless you guys and thank you and I'll I'll see you when I come to Australia sometime. Oh, we hope <laughs> that we hope that is sooner rather than later. Take care and stay safe. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, Mark. God bless. Bye, you guys. Too.